We just tested five products that you didn't know you could laser cut or engrave, and we'll show you what we learned right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. So be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell to be notified of our new videos. We're testing five materials in our Eon Nova 14 today. We're gonna test to see how well they cut and engrave. These are five materials you didn't know that you can cut and engrave. Well, we didn't really know, we hadn't really tested. So I can't wait to show you what we've learned and we're gonna put them all together in one big project at the end, so stick around. Material number one, EVA foam, not to be confused with PVC foam. That is right, you cannot laser PVC foam, but you can laser engrave EVA foam. This is just one of those like floor mat pieces that's puzzled, puzzled back together. This is great because it's lightweight, it's super flexible, it's waterproof. You could use it for a bunch of things. So we've seen it used in cosplay. It's very popular with cosplay for armor and props and things like that. You've seen it used it for kids project or craft stamps. You can engrave it and make stamps out of it. I've seen these used for toolboxes, for tool inserts, to keep all your tools organized. There is a ton of uses for this. It comes in thinner sheets and there's a ton of colors if you're getting into like the cosplay and stuff. But we've got the gym mat size here. So what would you say this is half inch? About half inch. And uh, so we're gonna test this. We wanna test and engrave each of these materials. So we're gonna start with the EVA foam. Right, we're gonna throw this in our Eon Nova 14 for a couple of reasons. The first, I don't feel like cutting any of these materials down. I just wanna throw them in and, and run some test cut cards. Two, because we're using a bunch of different thicknesses, the Eon Nova 14 has autofocus. I don't have to get out there with my gauge and, and set any focal heights, so that's nice. And we're gonna use the same test cut card for all of our materials. We're just gonna jump in a light burn, set up a test cut card. I already have a bunch of them saved for our Eon Nova 14, so we're just gonna run that test cut card on all of these materials. We're back with our two test cut cards. The cut, it cut beautifully. It did a great job. It cut pretty easily. There wasn't a whole lot of power and speed needed to get through this material. How did it engrave here? The engrave was beautiful too. Like if you get your settings perfect, the engrave is amazing. I was surprised at how well it engraved. Lesson learned, if you're engraving though, I would not leave it alone. Do not leave it unattended because it will catch fire. It is flammable. And I don't know what the like fumes are because we've had our exhaust hooked up. The exhaust is just blasting through some filters and then outside, but I wasn't able to smell any right. fumes coming Right, I was surprised. I was, I was hesitant at how stinky or smelly this might be. I mean, we all know that acrylic has got a smell to it. I really didn't smell when this was cutting and engraving. There wasn't much of a smell. Even after it uh, got a little smoky, little... Schmelty. It wasn't, schmelty. It it wasn't too schmelty. bad either. So I was pushing it to its limits, but I think it'd be fine. It engraves beautiful and it cuts beautiful too. I'm excited to use this one in the future. We found the best settings for cuts for the EVA foam are 25 speed, 40 power. And for the engrave, we did 150 speed and 30 power. Material number two, cork. I like cork. Cork is nice because it's eco-friendly, it's flexible, it's water and heat resistant, and you can get this stuff anywhere. Like uh, we picked this roll up at Michael's. It's super lightweight, so if you're making a project out of it, it's not gonna add a whole lot of weight to your project. It's pretty exciting. There's so many uses for cork. I know you've seen it used in heat pads and hot pads for trivets. It's been used in coasters. Things like wall art or maps, you can use it for things like that. Pin boards, what else? Drawer liners. Yeah. I mean, there's so many things you could use this for. If it's super easy to cut and engrave, I think there's a bunch of cool things that we could start adding these to. We're gonna throw this in the Eon Nova 14 again. I'm gonna keep part of it rolled up. I'm just gonna use magnets to pin it down and keep it flat while we do our engrave and cuts. And it works out fine as long as I keep the roll low it shouldn't hit the gantry. 
And that's what's great about having such a large laser bed. I know for a while when you start out with a small desktop laser, that's great. You're really getting into laser engraving. But when you level up to that larger bed and you have more room to cut larger materials and I don't have to cut any of these things down, I'll be able to put them straight in the bed. It's so nice. And for it to be auto height adjusted, all I have to do is press the button. It'll adjust it to the size of the cork. Super, super easy. We're back with our cork. It did cut beautifully and engraved beautifully. So it engraved surprisingly well. <laughs> like when you get it dialed in, this is nice and black, but it's not deep and it's not too charry. Like it doesn't wipe off so easily. So I'm stoked on the cork. What we found with the cork and the engraves with the cork, once it's done, you spray it with a little bit of LA Awesome, mm -hmm. rub it and it takes away any char residue that's left on your cork material. It does stay wet forever though, so use, yeah, a, keep that in mind. use a hair dryer to dry it off if you have to. And for our 100 watt laser, we found our perfect cut settings were 25 speed, 45% power, and for the engraved, 200 speed, 37.5% power. Very precise. We dialed it in. Material number three. Foam core board. This is just some foam sandwiched between two pieces of cardstock. It's lightweight, it's rigid. I mean, I love this stuff. I used to use this stuff all the time back in my art days for models, props. I like it for doing prototyping because of how rigid it is. Uh, it's great for things like temporary signage, uh, like he said, like photo booth props, things like that, layered wall art which is something we're thinking about using it for. I'm curious to see how well it cuts and engraves on the laser. Me too. We're gonna throw this in the Eon Nova 14 again. I'm not gonna cut it down. We're just gonna toss it in there. This looks a little warpy, so I am gonna use magnets to keep it flat. We're back with our test card. I think we learned a lot with this one. <laughs> yeah, we did. Uh, the foam really does not like the heat. So yeah. you have to cut this slow and low because it will melt the foam on the inside. It will cut the paper, but it really just, it's like cotton candy on the inside, right? As soon as that like heat hits it, candy. it starts to dissolve the inside. So we found that the perfect cut settings for the foam core were 35 speed and 50 power. And the perfect engrave settings were no, don't, don't do it. <laughs> you, don't engrave it. It is not an engravable product. It goes, it goes nothing and then burnt. So right. there's no really in between. You can't really engrave the paper. And like I said, as soon as the heat touches the foam on the inside, it dissolves. It starts it like, to shrink. Yeah, yeah it dissolves like real candy. quick. Yeah. But to cut it and it still has its rigidness and it is still able to be able to be used for things is great. But the sides aren't great. I mean, so this is something you have to think about. It does blow out the sides a it, little bit. Mm -hmm. And it looks a little dirty. I don't think this, because it's paper, it's not really washable too much, right? No, nah, but you could paint this. Easily paint mm, it. That's a good idea. I think yeah. it'll be fine. But again, I mainly use this for like prototypes and models things that I need to be a little closer to quarter inch and to see how they would actually stand up. Another great thing about this, this is great for UV printing because we're using the white, you can get this in other colors, but because it has a white base, it's going to UV print beautifully. Material number four, craft plastic. Now this stuff was cool and I just found out like literally a second ago, <laughs> it comes in a variety of colors. He said, wait, we have all those colors. Why do we use, why are we gonna use silver and black? Now all that she gave me was silver and black and she goes, here, go test this. <laughs> so I thought it only came in silver and black. It comes in like a cornucopia of colors. It does, it's beautiful. But I only had a full sheet of silver and black. That changes everything. Cause this stuff is great. It's durable, it's lightweight, it's waterproof, super flexible. Mm -hmm. This is great for stencils. I can see it, now I can see it being great for jewelry, uh -huh. accent panels, yes. bookmarks, yes. outdoor signage. You cut all your little letters and glue it on. You don't uh -huh. have to worry about any of the 
like wood or anything puffing up. You don't mm -hmm. have to use the expensive acrylic. It can get acrylic. wet, no problem. Anything where you need acrylic but needs to be flexible and lightweight. Right. I, I was sharing with him, I think this would be perfect for something like a pencil holder where you might want to put a name or a design oh, yeah. and wrap it around. These. Yeah. Yeah. You can glue it right on. It's going to be perfect for something like that. Tiny top hats. Tiny I top mean, hats. it's great for a lot of things. All right, I'm going to throw this in the Eon Nova 14. We'll run some test cut cards and see, see what, what we happens. Get. We're back with our test cut cards. It cut great. I think our perfect settings for cutting the craft plastic were 50 speed and 45% power, so it cuts really quickly. If I had to pick a perfect setting for engraving, I'd probably say 125 and 30. Wait, you can you can kind of see it. Now I did right. it on silver because I didn't know we had all these other colors. It might show up a little bit better on different colors. On a darker material, a but darker I don't material. really think it's it's not really an engravable type material. I guess it, it'll etch the surface and you can engrave it, but there's not a lot of color contrast there. Even if I were to do it on a darker material, it's not like it's going to have another layer behind it that's gonna show with another color. So I wouldn't really say this is an engravable material. It's really a great material for cutting. Yeah, cause and I, the color should come from the color of the I color. enjoyed how well it cut. And after we were done cutting, it still lays flat. There was no warping. Yes. So this would make a great like spray paint template right here. Oh, yes, yeah. Like we used to do all these backers and all the time and I'd have to create an MDF template for some of the backers where we had and a pattern. storing this pile of stuff, these little, these, yeah. This would is be what so my new templates are gonna be made out of right here. Mm -hmm. Material number five, you ready for a surprise? Stone, these are Maker Stone Flex Sheets. This is real stone. It's on like some kind of backer. It's uh, got a material backer that holds all the stone together. It's like a mesh fabric. But this is, again, super flexible, super lightweight. And genuine stone. This is a real... It's like a shaved piece of stone that's mm -hmm. then put on or glued to this backer piece. And I could see this being used for like furniture inlays. Yeah. I could see it on some jewelry. Yes, decorative wall art panels. Uh, yeah, wall art panels. What else do I have? I've seen a really see. cool award that oh. they did out of stone. It was stone and acrylic. Mm -hmm. I bet you it was this stuff that they used. I think this is, you know, this is kind of a creative thing. What other cool things can you make with this? So let's test this on the Eon Nova 14 and see how it cuts and engraves. We're back with our test cut cards. I have the cut file here and it cut surprisingly well, pretty quickly for being actual stone. I think the cut speed that we found is 30 speed, 45 power. Now we do our MDF at 10 and 50. Yeah. So 30 and 45 is pretty good. Yeah, this one, it went through pretty good. Uh, for engrave, again, I might say no, no. Because again, it went from barely being able to see anything. And because it's so textured, it's really hard to see, to kind of burn through to the little backer piece. Right, the There's... backer is like a, a fabric, a mesh fabric that it's mounted to. And when you engrave away the stone, you're going right, you're basically seeing the fabric. There's not enough contrast there. You can't just etch the stone and actually see, it just basically scratches the surface. But I definitely think it's cool if you wanna do inlays or you know anything that looks like stone that doesn't need to be engraved. I do know that you can both DTF print and UV DTF print on these. It yeah. sticks great, we did that for I know, the... those of you are getting those printers, this is a great material to print on. Yes, it definitely looks cool when it's printed. Now that we know our speed and power test settings for all of these materials, we're excited to use them in some upcoming projects. We've been dying to use them in some upcoming projects. Think Halloween. Mm-hmm. All right, well, we are about out of time. I gotta go start my Halloween projects. And we're gonna give you, leave you with one quick lesson learned. We used 3M tape on some of these, which was great. It worked well, but it wasn't forgiving. Once we put this cork down, you couldn't get it back up. So we got a little rip down here. So glue might be a better option if you need to move it around, have a little play with it before it's <laughs> down yeah, permanently. Yeah, otherwise it's down, down. Like our patrons, they're always down. They're down for a good time. That is a great community over there. You got to check us out on Patreon if you like these kind of projects. 
We have free files, Zoom calls, there's a bunch of good stuff, but it's really about the community.